What's up, babes? What's up? I missed you guys so much. I say this in every video, but I truly miss you guys every time I'm like not talking to you guys. I miss you. Thank you for picking up the FaceTime call because we just, we gotta talk. We gotta talk about makeup. We gotta catch up. Did you know that the Sephora savings event is coming up? Because if you didn't, girl, let me get you hip. Let me spill all the tea because let me tell you something. One thing your girl loves to do me moi i i love to talk about makeup i love to talk about makeup that i want to get i love to talk about makeup that i want that i'm going to get like when it comes to makeup that's the one thing that has the key to my heart it's makeup okay now we all know that sephora is expensive as crap okay we all know that you can get one item for literally like 25 dollars one item okay it's hard to even find like a couple items that you can get for 50 dollars you let alone okay so sephora is having a savings event coming up in april so let me spill all the tea and give you all the info because baby girl we one thing about us we're gonna save some coins okay we want a good discount although sephora doesn't have like the biggest discounts it's just we're thankful for what we can get you know what i mean Okay, so before we get into the vibe, before we get into the video, we have to always do a makeup check. So I wanted to do something that was little like spring vibes. Yo, this like yellow rhinestone keeps falling and I think I need to like re-glue it. But um, I'm trying to give spring, I'm trying to talk to you guys while I fix it. I'm trying to give spring, I'm trying to give vibrant, I'm trying to give like a good vibes. So I have like this moment going on. I want to like zoom you guys in so you guys can see the vibes, the details, okay, baby? The details, okay? That's what's really important. So like I said, this rhinestone, I don't know why, but it keeps like falling. Maybe I didn't put enough glue under it, but um, yeah, get into it, baby, because yeah. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just feeling, you know how like when you just, when you just do that on your makeup, you just, yeah, I just wanted to just so you got, I'm talking so fast, I just wanted to show you guys um, how my makeup came out because I'm really feeling it, I'm really feeling it. One thing about me, one thing about your girl, I'm going to put some rhinestones on a makeup look, okay? I feel like rhinestones just like, mwah, your makeup, like it just makes your makeup go to like from 10 to 100 real quick. So I was feeling festive and I was feeling the vibes. I want to do a purple makeup look soon. And when I tell you, I have some stuff coming in the mail and I'm so excited. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys like it. But let's get into the video because, um, girl, we about to spill all the tea. Let me like reframe you guys and then we'll talk about the details. Okay, so I'm going to be talking right here in the middle and then once we talk about the, I don't know if I'm going to do recommendations or wish list first, but I think I'm going to do, um, I think I'm going to do the recommendations first and then I'm going to talk about my wish list because I would like to recommend the best products and then we're going to talk about what we want to do for our wish list. So part one right now is going to be the recommendations video and then the following video after um, will be my personal wish list of what I want. It's like a wish list is like an Amazon cart, you know? It's what we want but will we get all of those products? Mm, I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, let's get into the details of the Sephora Savings event coming up in April. Okay, besties, so let's get into it. So let's talk about the details of when the Sephora Savings event is. Okay, so we're going to start from the beginning to the end of the Sephora Savings event. So we're going to start with the 30% to the 10% off. So... The Sephora collection is going to be 30% off starting from April 5th to April 15th. So the entire sale, you will get 30% off of the entire Sephora collection. When I tell you, baby, do not sleep on the Sephora collection. I'm going to get into the details later, but just do not sleep on the Sephora collection. I promise you, like, it is legitly so good. Okay, so my phone just locks on me and, okay. So first access, the Rouge members, when I say they get the first access, they get the first tea, they get the first like, yeah, they get 20% off and their sale starts April 5th through April 15th. They get the first of the first picks. Okay. Yo, I, I try so hard to be a Rouge member, but then it's like, I remember that I have bills I got to pay and I just, I can't spend that much money on makeup a year. Like, oh my gosh, one day I will be a Rouge member and I will get that 20% off. I promise you one day. Okay. 
Now, VIB members, that's where I am. So if you're a VIB, if you're a VIB, I can't talk. So if you're a VIB member, you get 15% off and your sale starts April 9th through April 15th. If you're an insider, you get 10% off and your sale starts April 9th through April 15th. One thing I can say is that Sephora does not have sales often. So when it comes to the high-end products that you really are like, you want to wait until they have a sale before you just take the jump and buy that product, this is the time to do it. If you want to splurge on makeup, this is the time to do it. I promise you. So let's get into the tea of the products that I actually recommend from Sephora that I've tried out myself and that I truly would recommend to anybody who asks me about Sephora products to recommend. So let's get into it, babes. Okay, so the way I'm going to do this video and categorize it, I'm going to start with the way I actually apply my makeup. So I do my makeup, my brows, my eyes, and then my complexion and um, products. So we're just going to do it like that. So I'm going to be honest with you. When it comes to my brows, I typically use like e.l.f., but if I'm not using e.l.f. and I'm using a higher end product, I will use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. Baby, when I tell you this has been with me this has been my pride and joy like from back in the day when I was in college like this dip brow I promise you it will not fill you your eyebrows will not go anywhere this is a key this is a tip so the way I get my eyebrows to last all day and not budge or anything set your eyebrows so I do my eyebrows and then I set it with a translucent setting powder like Laura Mercier any translucent any translucent setting powder that you own, set your eyebrows with that. It has to be translucent. Don't use like a white powder or a banana powder, only translucent setting powder. So then it's like when you, you know, wipe it off and you set your um, face, it won't have like a, a little a tint or anything to it. So I fill in my brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. And this is what I use. This is the one thing that I can definitely recommend 10 toes that if you want a good dip brow, baby, this is the OG, okay? I was in college in 2016 and it is 2024 and I'm still using this. This is the OG, okay? I can't remember if it was 2016 or 2017 when I first tried this, but this has been in the game for a very long time. So if I'm still using this years and years and years later, then baby, that says that it's good. Like, it is good. This is one thing that I would recommend for your brows. Okay, so when it comes to an eyeshadow primer, I typically don't use eyeshadow primers, but if I do use an eyeshadow primer, this is the one that I use, and this is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, and this is the purple one, the original one. The only reason why I don't use an eyeshadow primer is because I typically just use a foundation. Whatever foundation I'm using that day, I would just use that as my primer, and I'll set that with a translucent powder. So that's really the reason why I don't typically use it. But if I'm doing a makeup look like this or a makeup look where it's like, oh, I need my eyeshadow to just do its one twos and last me all day. And I mean all day. This, this is my go-to. When I say this will grip your eyeshadow, I'm not even kidding. This is like a grip primer. Like this right here is so good. This is the one eyeshadow primer that I would truly, truly recommend. And let's see. It has a doe foot like this. Is it going to focus? It has a doe foot like this. And it is, it comes off like this, but it's, oh, I'm trying to do good at demonstrating. And it's clear. So when you blend it in, it literally is clear like this and when I say this is so good like your eyeshadow will not go anywhere like this is the one that I truly recommend so yeah and you can also sometimes like if I'm doing my eyeshadow like for instance when I um, use a foundation and I use that as my primer I set it with a translucent powder you can also do that with this eyeshadow primer as well you can set it with a translucent powder but yeah for an eyeshadow primer the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion is what I would recommend Okay, I'm going to be honest with you, I have not bought any new palettes from Sephora, so when it comes to eyeshadow palettes, I'm going to kind of skip that category because I truly have not bought any new eyeshadow palettes. I want to try the Danessa Myricks eyeshadow palette and see how I like it, but 
I mean, I just haven't bought any new ones lately. I think it's just really because I have so many eyeshadow palettes that I told myself, like, I don't want to just have, like, a big, just, like, I don't want to have too big of a collection. So I've just really been playing with the eyeshadow palettes that I have. And truth be told, bestie, I use the eyeshadow palettes from, like, Juvia's Place. And, like, the, the palettes that you can get from Ulta is the palettes that I normally use. Or Beauty Bay has, like, a lot of good eyeshadow palettes as well. But, yeah, I don't have any eyeshadow palettes right now that I've recently been using that I would recommend. But Sephora has a whole bunch of really good eyeshadow palettes. That, yeah, bestie, I don't have an eyeshadow palette now that I'm thinking about it. And that's going to change because, hold on. No, 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 no. I need to go and buy me a good eyeshadow palette from Sephora because I really have not splurged on palettes in so long. So that's going to be my next, like, my next little challenge for myself is to find a good one. But, okay, regardless, since we are skipping eyeshadow palettes, let's go to face, baby. We're going to go to face. Okay, so primers. Mind you, I have oily skin, so I like a more mattifying and gripping primer. And baby, you already know what I'm going to say when I say gripping primer. Okay, so we are going to do my all-time favorite primers. I got this one in the mini version. So I have the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, and I also have the Fenty Beauty Pro, the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter True Matte Mattifying Primer. This is my second bottle. If I go through a bottle of this and I and I repurchase, baby, that means that it's good. That means that it's great. That means that it's doing the thing for me. So this one right here, I got the mini version because I wanted to see how I liked it before I jumped the gun and got like a big, like the bigger um, original size version. I can't talk. <laughs> you know what I mean? I wanted to try the mini one before I got the bigger size because, like I said, Sephora is not cheap. So if you want to try something out for the first time to see if you like it, get the mini version and then, you know, you'll test it out to see if you want to actually spend the money and invest in the bigger size. So this Hydro Grip Primer, when I tell you my makeup goes nowhere and it literally grips to this primer, a dupe that I recently discovered this is not this is you cannot get this from Sephora but if you're wondering what a more inexpensive product is that you can find that's just as good this elf grip primer this is the elf power grip primer I got this from Ulta when I say this is the dupe of the milk hydro grip primer I'm not lying this right here is so good okay it's so good and it just makes me so happy when I can find an inexpensive product that works just as good if not better than the higher end products these go these go so good together they're they're just good they're just good products so if you want to not spend as much money get the elf power grip primer but we're not talking about elf right now we're going to talk about the milk hydro grip primer like I said I have oily skin so the fact that this works so good and I have oily skin that means something okay this when I tell you my makeup goes nowhere it truly goes nowhere my makeup lasts all day with this hydro grip primer I mean I'm gonna be honest with you I have oily skin I've tried every product that you can just about try for matte when it comes to a matte primer and matte foundation regardless of how matte it says that it is and how much I prep my skin and everything for the day I still do have to touch up hours later and that's okay it doesn't mean that the product isn't doing what it's saying it's supposed to do the product actually works really well it's just that I just have oily skin and I just it's inevitable just like when it comes to my under eyes creasing I have tried every single concealer my under eyes just naturally crease and that's what that's okay it's it doesn't mean that the product is not good. It just means that, you know, you're, you can't help that your under eyes crease and you can't help that your skin gets oily at the end of the day. It's okay. The, the products work just as good. It's just that I just have oily skin, but, um, yeah. So this right here, when I say my face looks flawless, it looks matte all day. When I use the Fenty true matte primer, if there's any primer that I can recommend, if you want a matte base, Oh my God, baby why did I I truly like don't know this was sitting in front of me why did I forget about this 
This is the One Size Secure the Sweat Dry Till Dawn Primer. I'm actually wearing that right now. I just looked and I just looked at my desk and I realized I'm like, why am I missing something? I'm missing something, but I don't know what it is. When I tell you Patrick Starr did his damn thing when it came to inventing this primer. When I tell you that Riri did her dang thing when it came to inventing this. And this right here. But these two. These two. They're so good. Okay. I have oily skin as I say a hundred times. When I say that my makeup just glides on my skin and like it just blends so well. And when I say that my face looks matte and it lasts all day when I use either this one or this one or even this one. But I'm going to talk about these two real quick because these are my all time faves. If you have oily skin, please try the one size, the one size, what is this called? Secure the sweat. Please try this. If you have oily skin, please try the Fenty Beauty True Mattes Pro Filter Primer. When I say these two will not fail you, if I could recommend any primers, it would be these three. But for real, for real, these two right here really does it for me. Like, it does it for me. It's so good. When I tell you this is so good, I remember when I went to Sephora and I was like, can you please recommend a good primer for, um, you know, oily skin? And she was like this right here the one size she was like this one this um girl that she knows went out on vacation she was sweating and it was like hot i don't know where she went but she was like it was hot wherever she went and she wore this found and she wore this primer she said that her makeup still looked so good hours later and i was like mm, you got me there okay i'm about to try this out and when i say she did not lie this is so good like my makeup literally lasts hours without me having to touch it up hours and i'm not like when i say i do have to touch up my makeup at the end of the day because i do still get oily but i don't get oily as fast and i don't it's just like i don't know what they put in this i don't know what she puts in this like it's just these two are so good these are the one that i truly would go like i would ride 10 toes behind for those two okay so let's go to foundation okay now i have a few foundations okay i'm gonna give you my opinion on a few foundations and even a skin tint that i'm going to talk about that i would truly 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 recommend okay so we're gonna start with urban decay i tried the urban decay um I tried the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation. This is the up to 24 hour liquid foundation and I'm in the shade 70 NN. I tried this when I was in college. It, I'm, and I try to emphasis, emphasize, emphasis, if I am still riding 10 toes for a product and I was using this when I was in college, that means that this product is good y'all i'm so sad because why did i just look on sephora to see if they were still because i haven't bought this in a while i don't know if they discontinued this or what but if they discontinued this i'm going to be sad because when i say this is so good i'm gonna be so sad i'm gonna have to go to my sephora and see if they have this in stock i'm gonna be sick if they don't have this anymore and they discontinued it i'm gonna so the next product I'm going to talk about is the NARS Soft Matte Foundation. I'm in the shade Medium Deep 3.3 Caracas. Baby, when I say this is my ride or die, if I, so if I'm getting married, I'm going to tell you how good this product, this foundation is. When I get married, I will be using this foundation. This foundation lasts all day baby this is a full coverage foundation and it is matte like when i say it is matte it is matte this literally lasts me all day my makeup literally lasts all day i just can't emphasize it the one thing that i will say about this is that i don't if you know that you're going to use this foundation don't leave it just sitting like this and then just open it because the liquid will just like the products will come out like it will start coming out and spill so what i would recommend that i like to do 
is before I open it, I will kind of like tap it down like this and then open it and hope that it doesn't. And you see what I mean? Like, look at this. Uh, let's see if you can see it. Oh gosh, I'm trying to focus it. Like, do you see what I mean? Like, if you just have it just sitting on its sitting on top like that. Ugh. If you just have it sitting face down and then you open it, it can truly get messy. That's the one thing that I don't like about this is that it really can get messy if you just have it sitting face down like this instead of just having it sitting up like this and but you can't like have it sitting up because I mean the bottom is like this but um whenever you are about to use this I would just recommend to try to have it sitting up this way so then like when you open it it's just not a big mess but this product is so good like this is the one I will be so pissed off if they discontinue a product like this because it is so good my wedding day, I will be wearing this. This is the NARS Soft Matte Foundation. So I highly recommend this, baby. Another NARS foundation that I recommend, and I think you already know what I'm about to say, is the NARS, what is this called? The NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is longwear. This, I, it's, an, it's a radiant foundation, so it doesn't give matte to me, but this lasts all day. And when I say these two together, this soft matte plus the radiant what I like to do is just so I can use the product use both of the products and one is just not just sitting there for a long time and I don't use it up I like to mix these together I am the queen of mixing foundations especially ones that work great for me so I will mix these two together and apply it on my face and when I say it gives me a radiant matte look I don't know how to explain it but my makeup literally lasts all day I love these two all the foundations that I'm going to talk about, the makeup lasts all day. Like, it just doesn't fail. It's so freaking good. This right here, I highly recommend. I would say if you have dry skin too or combo skin, this is the best for you. I mean, even if you have oily skin because I have oily skin, this is also the best for you. But for me, I don't typically use this on its own just by itself. I typically just mix these two together. I will definitely use this on its own. But like for me, I would just mix these two together. But I will say that if you decide if you decide that you want to just use this on its own, it's absolutely beautiful because I used to just use this on its own until like I started mixing it together. And I'm like, OK, I, I, I can't go back now because the 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 because the results is just too good. So I just these two together are they're just so good. I highly recommend these two like highly recommend and the one thing I do love about the NARS foundations is that whatever shade you are in this one you are in the radiant so I am in both um Caracas I don't know how to pronounce that but in both foundations I am what is this medium deep 3.3 Caracas so a foundation that I recommend but okay so I recently got the Huda Beauty what is this the Huda Beauty Fox Filter Luminous Matte Foundation so okay this is very like this is probably the most full coverage foundation that I own besides the KVD Locket Foundation and I'm going to get into this one as well but I would say be between these two this one is so full coverage like I I've never tried a full cover I thought I knew what full coverage was until I tried this one this foundation is so full coverage this like i said this is the huda beauty fox filter luminous matte foundation it is long wearing it's matte it's full coverage the only thing is that to me and i can't even i can't even believe i'm saying this but the, like this is too full coverage but i still love it like i will honestly say i will repurchase this once i run out it's it's really good it's just very full coverage like if i know i'm doing a photo shoot or something this is something i would definitely wear but another thing that i kind of noticed about it is that i don't know if it's i don't know it kind of was yellow in a way i don't know at first when i applied this when i did my first um my try on i think it was like one of my try on hauls I thought that I didn't get the correct shade when I first tried it on but then I had to go in the bathroom and I was like okay it's settling and it's actually my shade but like 
I don't want to say anything bad about this because I truly do like this foundation. This is like full coverage. Like this says that it's full coverage, but baby, this is full coverage. Like this is, full. if you have any redness or like any like blemishes or anything, this will cover it. When I say this is full coverage, like I truly mean it. I mean, I don't even like to use this when it comes to an eyeshadow primer. Like I told you that I use foundations for primers. I don't use this as a primer whenever I'm using this on my face because this is too full coverage. I would just go in with like a NARS foundation or something or I'll just use my actual um, primer. But this is so full coverage. So if you love a full coverage foundation, I highly recommend this. Your makeup will last all day and you'll just slay, baby. You'll just slay. Alright, so this one is my original just fave I absolutely fell in love with. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. This foundation is so good. When I say, I actually am wearing it today. When I say that this is long wearing, this is full coverage. Like, literally, your makeup, I just feel like I just like... I just got makeup on this. Your makeup will literally look so flawless when you use this foundation. When I say this foundation, if I just want a foundation that I know will never fail me, the, all the foundations that I recommend will just never fail me. Because these are the ones that I recommend. Duh. But like this one right here, I absolutely love this foundation. And this is a true matte foundation as well. Like when I know that I'm going to be wearing, needing to wear my makeup for hours and hours and hours, this is one of the foundations that I will consider applying because I just know that my makeup will look flawless hours and hours and hours later. So good. I highly recommend. And I am in the shade 410. And one thing that I love about, I forgot to mention, one thing that I love about these two is the skin, like the match. When I say it matches my skin so beautifully and so well, I'm talking about the NARS one. These match so beautifully with my skin. Like, I just absolutely love how well this matches my skin, truly. Okay, so I'm going to talk about my top five favorite concealers. And I'm going to try to make it not as long of a video. This one, the NARS Pot Concealer. This is in the shade hmm, Medium 3 Praline Soft Matte. This is so good. And when I say it is full coverage, like, my under eyes look so good bright and it literally gives me that full coverage under eye that I always want when it comes to concealer I don't like light coverage I don't even too much care for medium coverage I want a full coverage concealer and when I say my eye, like under my eye and like my t-zone area wherever I put concealer it looks so flawless like it truly does when it comes to a concealer that I would wear on my wedding day, it would be the Epoch Concealer. And it also will be another concealer that I'm going to talk about in a second. also do like the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This gives medium coverage. I guess you could build it up to be full coverage, but this is more of medium coverage. I will say that like if I was wearing, if I was doing the Ease Drop with Fenty, I would pair this with the NARS Radiant Concealer because they're both about, this one is like light to medium coverage and this is medium coverage so it would just they just pair well together but I also would recommend this if you want more of a medium coverage concealer you can build it up to even be full coverage but this is a concealer that I highly recommend as well that just gives you that bright good under eye and it just blends beautifully like it truly does it doesn't look cakey or anything on your under your eye it just it looks so good okay so the next concealer that I would recommend is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer and I am in the shade 370 and I also got a lighter shade that is 350 so I just go back and forth between which one that I want depending on like how bright of an under I want but you know it's good when I got a second one. I just got one in like a brighter shade um, but these are so good. So this concealer is full coverage and it's long wearing. When I say this is so good like all the products i just can't emphasize this is so good like it gives you that flawless under eye and like my makeup looks so good together my dog is barking and it's just so rude i would truly recommend my dog is barking how rude but i truly would recommend 
I truly would recommend these two concealers. It doesn't give you that patchy under eye. It gives you, it doesn't give you that dry under eye either. It just looks so good and it's long wearing. If I want a full coverage concealer, this is what I would go for. A trick that I will say when it comes to your concealer, if you want that full coverage look with your concealer you need to let your concealer dry down for like 30 seconds or even a minute let it dry down and then blend it and when i say you will get that full coverage look like that is the one thing that changed the game so i will put my concealer on and then i'll bronze up my face and i'll blend my bronzer and then i'll blend my concealer and when i say my concealer just looks so good that trick just changed the game for me like it truly changed the game for me so yeah when i say this concealer is long wearing it's full coverage it is matte it literally is flawless this is my new holy girl like i just discovered this i don't know why i didn't discover this sooner this is also the foundation like i would wear on my wedding day I'm telling you on your wedding day if I say this is a foundation or a concealer or a primer or anything I would wear on my wedding day that's how good it is this right here is so full coverage it literally when I say Huda did her thing her big one with this she was not playing this concealer is so freaking good like when I say this is my baby this is my new baby I absolutely love this concealer it is so long wearing and it's so full coverage like I think what made me just absolutely love it is how full coverage it is when I just let it dry down and then I blend it it blends so effortlessly and so easily it doesn't it's not blotchy it's not dry or anything like it is so it blends like a dream it's so good okay it lasts year like my under eye looks so good and lasts all day anywhere I put my concealer it looks so good and lasts all day I'm telling you this is so good and what I would recommend to anyone I don't want to say out of all the concealers I would recommend this but this is my top my top my top three concealer that I would recommend for you to try out if you have not already for the Sephora Savings event. Try this out please. I promise you it will not disappoint you. If you like full coverage concealers, try this baby, okay? Try this. I don't know why I totally forgot to mention this, but I definitely recommend the Cole Fi Concealer. This is a medium coverage. It gives you that radiant hydrating look. When I tell you that I absolutely love this, this is a new purchase for me. I actually bought this in, I think, in my recent Sephora. Um, I think I bought this when I was trying to see what I could get at Sephora for $50 or less. This is so good. I've been wearing this almost every time I put on my makeup ever since I bought this. This Cult Fi Concealer is amazing. It blends like a dream. It's hydrating. It literally gives you that flawless under eye. It, it's just so good. I highly recommend this. And I think this is actually a new brand. And I'm using the shade Mango Drop. Baby, when I say get this, try this out, like it won't disappoint. Please, I don't know why I forgot to talk about this. But yeah, the Cult Fi Concealer is so good and I highly recommend. Okay, so let's get into setting powders. We're going to first start with the pressed powder. So I'm going to talk about the Huda Beauty Easy Bake and Snatch pressed powder. When I tell you that this is so good, it gives me a bright under eye. This is talc free and I use the shade Blondie. When it comes, I'm going to tell you like if you want a flawless under eye flawless under eye that doesn't crease as much or doesn't crease at all i'm gonna tell you my three step to a flawless under eye concealer let your concealer set for a little bit and then blend it out set your concealer immediately as soon as you're done set as soon as you're done blending it out set your concealer with a pressed powder for example i use the huda beauty pressed powder pressed powder Set your concealer with this, and then after you're done setting your concealer, use a loose setting powder. For example, the I would use the Huda Beauty Banana Bread Loose Setting Powder. So, concealer, pressed powder, and loose setting powder. These three are the key to a flawless 
under eye i'm telling you like i love me a bright under eye for real so i would definitely recommend this press i mean this setting powder as well the huda beauty setting powder i use the shade banana bread i also want to see i think they have a translucent shade so i want to get that one as well but the banana bread the only reason why i have it in the small version is because the bigger version the bigger version they were sold out at my sephora so the only one that they had was the mini version so I would highly recommend this setting powder. It is so good. It gives me a flawless under eye and it just melts into my skin and just looks beautiful. So the next setting powder that everyone I feel like recommends is the Laura Mercier translucent powder. If you want a good translucent powder who will never let you down, get the Laura Mercier translucent powder. When I say I use this to set my eyes before I put my eyeshadow and I use this to set my under eye, like this is so good. It gives you that flawless natural look and it just makes your makeup look airbrushed and just flawless. I highly recommend this. Like if I'm getting married, I would use this to set my under eye. That's how good it is, okay? That's how good this bad boy is. Wedding day. That's how good it is, okay? Another setting powder that I would recommend is the Fenty Beauty setting powders and these are the loose setting powders. I have the shade Banana in the full size, I have the shade Lavender in the full size, and I have the mini version of the shade Butter. When I tell you I love Fenty Beauty's entire line, like I just highly recommend Fenty Beauty as a whole, like everything with Fenty Beauty I highly recommend. But I love to set my under eye with the banana shade. I also, if I want a brighter under eye, I will use the lavender shade. This gives me such a bright under eye. It's like, and this doesn't give you flashback either. All of the products that I'm talking about with setting powder, all the setting powders, they don't give you flashback. They actually look so good when it comes to taking pictures, just setting your face. It gives you that flawless airbrushed look telling you so good i highly recommend huda beauty for the setting powders and their press setting powder and i highly recommend fenty for the loose setting powders like i highly 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 recommend them so i have been getting into cream bronzers lately so i have the nars cream bronzer in the shade looking laguna 04 and i have the fenty beauty bronzer stick and this is i think this is the match stick and this is in the shade truffle 4. i'm gonna talk about the nars creamy bronzer first so a little bit goes a long way with this bronzer. It will last you a long time. When I say that this bronzer blends like a dream and it literally looks so good. This is the type of bronzer that it's like, okay, you can bronze your entire face and then like you don't have to blend it in immediately. I cannot stand bronzers or contours that like you have to blend immediately or it'll just like stay and look patchy and it just won't blend well. This is not it. This is the type of bronzer cream that you can literally you know bronze and sculpts wherever you want it to be and then you can blend it out and it'll look flawless it does not look patchy it doesn't um blend horribly it doesn't dry down super quickly that's what i love about this it literally blends like a dream the fenty beauty contour stick this also blends really really good i will say that compared to the nars one this does dry down a little bit faster when it comes to blending so I mean, I typically just blend this the same way I blend this. So I will just put my bronzer wherever I need to on my face and then I'll just blend it all together. And I don't ever have issues when it comes to blending this. I just do notice that this blends down a little bit faster. I mean, blends down. This one dries down a little bit faster than the NARS, but I highly recommend both of them. They're, they're so good. And like I said, in the Fenty Beauty Matchstick, I use the shade Truffle 04. Now, when it comes to a bronzer, baby, Fenty Beauty Coconati 07 is the bronzer shade that I use. And when I say it just literally is so good, I absolutely love this bronzer. It makes my face, like, it just gives me that, like, sun-kissed look. And I just love how it just blends. Like, it blends effortlessly. And this is just, like, a good bronzer. I love the shade range that Fenty Beauty has, like, all shades from medium 
from light to medium to dark you will find a good bronzer shade for your skin tone and that's what I love about Fenty is that they're so inclusive you can find any shade for yourself so yeah I highly recommend her well their bronzers I don't know why I keep forgetting to recommend certain products because like it's just not in front of me and I have to look for them because sometimes my makeup is all over the place but the one size setting powder is truly so good and unmatched they, I use the shade Sweet Honey. When I say that this sets my face and mattifies it and just makes my under eye look flawless, I'm not lying. This is so good and I highly recommend it. So I just wanted to put that out there. Um, I don't know why I forgot to mention that when I was talking about setting powders. But I've recently got the Rem Beauty. This is the only thing that I own by Rem Beauty. I need to try them out, but I saw that they're coming out with more blushes. So I'm going to see what that one, what those, you know, look like. And they... From the pictures that I saw, they look so good. So, Rem Beauty. I absolutely love this blush. This is my new go-to strawberry pink blush. This is... It's so crazy that I just said strawberry pink blush because the name of it is Strawberry Nebula. But this soft matte pink blush is absolutely beautiful. I'm trying to see if it will give it justice. Like, y'all, look at how beautiful this blush is. I'm trying to wait for it to just come back to me. Okay. I will say that this right here gives... I'm not wearing it today, but this literally looks so beautiful. Like this right here, this blush looks... It gives me that baby pink Barbie look that I absolutely love. Like I absolutely love using this blush. Every single time I just want that Barbie pink blushy look, this is the one that I recommend every single time. Like I love this and this is going to be one of my holy grails when it comes to blushes because it literally just looks so beautiful on your on your cheeks. It looks so beautiful. I also want to talk about if you need a good recommendation for lash glue, get the Duo Quick Set Strip, at, strip Lash Adhesive in mine that I have is in the shade White Clear. This one I highly recommend. It's so good. Like I always wear this one I actually have a backup just in case I run out of this but this one I literally wear every time I put on my lashes it does not take long for the glue to dry down so then you or not dry down but to get tacky to stick to your lashes like when I say this is so good I never have to you know touch up or like reapply glue or anything like that like I never had that issue and when it comes to pulling your lashes off it literally does not hurt it just it's so good. I highly recommend this lash glue. Okay, so let's talk about eyeliner. So this is why I said don't sleep on Sephora collection because when I say they are so good, I'm not lying. I literally have like, I'm trying to see if I can show you guys. I have every color. I have every color when it comes to, oop, I just dropped it. When it comes to the Sephora eyeliners. Sephora eyeliners are so good like I'm actually wearing the shade metallic rich plum this is a burgundy eyeliner when I say they are so good my thing that I love about the eyeliners are the tips of them like they're so easy to work with which is why I recommend them so the tips are like this oh I just got it on my hand but they're like this I love how easy these are to work with so I highly recommend it and like the tips of these are they're more of a stiffer tip so it's just so much easier to work with so I highly recommend these eyeliners and I love how many shades that they give you and yeah I just I wish they had a red shade though or a purple shade but nonetheless I recommend all the shades that they have because they're just so good okay so we're almost done sorry that this is so long i just have so many that i have to recommend to you guys so let's go to setting spray and then we'll be done so for setting spray i recommend the one size setting spray and i also recommend the urban decay all nighter setting spray urban decay all nighter all nighter setting spray your makeup literally lasts all day if you have oily skin try this out your makeup will last all day 
I'm not kidding. Even if you don't have oily skin and you have dry skin or combo skin, I highly recommend the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray because you want your makeup to last all day regardless of what type of what skin type you have. So I highly recommend the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray for especially if you're going out and you want your makeup to last all day and look flawless. Highly recommend this, okay? If you have oily skin, the one size. I'm telling you, I am telling you, the one size setting spray, I got the big bottle. I have the small bottle, but when I when I run out, I will have the big bottle. This is so good that when I run out of the small version, I definitely have the big bottle as a backup because it is so good. The one size on till dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray is absolutely so good top tier when i tell you your makeup will last all day and you will barely have to touch it up i'm not kidding i'm not lying it literally looks so good every single time i put on my makeup and i set my face with this my makeup lasts all day and i barely have to touch it up like probably once in a day once during the day i have to touch it up once one time and if i'm wearing it for hours like if i know that i'm going to go out for like hours in a day I'm going to wear this. I'm going to spray this on my face because it just literally mattifies my makeup and my makeup doesn't budge or go anywhere. Also, what I what's funny is that it feels like I'm spraying hairspray on my face, but like when I tell you it is so good, I'm not lying. You have to try the one size setting spray. Seriously, especially if, if you have oily skin, like it will not fail you. Like it won't babes those are the products that i highly recommend the sephora savings event is the time for you to splurge and just treat yourself and buy products that you just want to try out if you don't want to try the full versions of certain products and they offer a mini version try the mini version out if you like the mini version go and purchase the full size i'm telling you all the products that i talked about i highly recommend even if you don't have oily skin i still recommend these products like they're just that good I'm gonna miss you guys. I'm gonna miss you guys till I talk to you guys in my next video. I'm gonna miss you guys until I call you guys again on FaceTime and you answer my call, okay? I love you guys so much. And if you have any products that you recommend for the Sephora Savings event, comment down below because I would love to see what recommendations that you have so then I can look into it and see if that is something that I would be interested in purchasing. So I love you guys so much and thank you guys for sticking around and staying till the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give this video a like thumbs up subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye